Welcome to Country Cooking. I'm your host, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we'll be making chicken ranch pasta, raspberry pecan salad, Bruno's cheese bread, and rhubarb cake with brandy sauce. We're going to start with the bread so we can get it in the oven. So I've got two cups of sifted flour. We're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. tablespoon of sugar, a half teaspoon of salt, we're going to sift that together, and we're going to cut in a fourth cup of butter. pastry blender you can use two knives or whatever you're comfortable with but we want to mix it in so it uh, gets just really small like pea size this is, this is one of those breads that is uh, I like to make because you don't have to do the raising because you're using baking powder instead of yeast it, and most of the breads where you have to let it raise the first time, then you shape it, then you have to let it raise again. And so this is uh, a time saver. I think you'll like it. Okay, I think that'll work. Now we're going to stir in um, a cup of cheddar cheese, a tablespoon of grated onion, one and a half teaspoons of dried dill. If you have fresh dill, I say go ahead and use it. Uh, you would just probably use a little bit more because dried is a little more concentrated. So. this together. I preheated my oven to 350. Okay, so now we're going to take a, a beaten egg. And three-fourths cup of milk, kind of mix that together, and then we're going to blend that in. And your batter will be lumpy, obviously because of the cheese and everything, but I have uh, greased and floured a loaf pan, bread loaf pan. I'm using glass. The nice thing about glass is if you're not quite sure, uh, you know, how done the bread is, because bread is something that it's hard, you can't really stick a toothpick in it. So um, it's kind of nice to be able to just look at the bottom of the of the glass pan and you can see if it's browning or whatever. And then you know if you've got to give it a little more time. And it doesn't call for it, but what I usually do on a bread like this is after it's baked for a little while, I will baste it with just a little bit of butter and that'll help it brown on the top a little better. We're going to get that in the oven. Uh, we're going to bake it at 350 for 40 minutes. 
So I'm going to quick get cleaned up and we'll get going on the cake. Be right back. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium-sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, we're going to work on the rhubarb cake. I have three cups of rhubarb that I've cleaned and cut into small pieces, and I have three-fourths cup of buttermilk. We're going to pour that over the top of it and let it sit while we work on the, the cake batter. I'm just going to kind of give it just a little bit of a swish. Okay. Now we're going to... Uh, we're going to cream one and a half cups of brown sugar with a half cup of butter. After you have it well blended, we're going to add an egg. Okay, now we'll just set this aside. I have two cups of flour. To this we'll add teaspoon of baking soda and a fourth teaspoon of salt. I'll sift that together. And then we'll blend in our sugar mixture. I'm going to add the brandy, two tablespoons. If you don't have brandy or you don't care to put brandy in, it really, it's just a flavoring. You, you won't be able to, to uh, you know, won't feel like it's a boozy cake at all, especially with the rhubarb has such a strong flavor. But if you'd rather not use brandy, you can use vanilla or, a, you know, any kind of a flavoring like that that you want to put in it. Okay, now your batter is going to be kind of lumpy and crumbly, um, but as soon as we fold in the rhubarb and the buttermilk, then it's going to cream the batter up. Rhubarb. <laughs> okay. 
I have prepared a pan, a 9x13 with butter, and I'm going to just pour the cake batter in. Okay, now on top of the cake, we're going to put a little, just a little bit of a sugar topping. I have two teaspoons of cinnamon. Half cup of granulated sugar. And two tablespoons of softened butter. You can use your hands to combine it or a fork or whatever. I'm going to use a, a pastry blender again. It's, it just seems to work easier for me. And don't worry about it being a little lumpy as the as it bakes, the butter is going to melt and, and it'll just be a, a thin sugar coating on top. Looks like this. We're going to put it in the oven and bake it at 350. Uh, you're going to have to watch it, it depends on your oven, about 45 minutes. Now, if you want a copy of any of these recipes, you just go to the Valley website on the side of the home page. You'll see the Country Cooking Cow, and click on that. That's where you'll find the recipe. If you don't have internet, call the Valley office. The girls will be happy to get you a copy of the recipe. I'm going to clean up. We'll be right back. Get three months free access on all lines, plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. Okay, we're going to start on the chicken ranch pasta. We start out with four strips of bacon, and I've, I've chopped it up real fine, and we're going to let it start to brown. We'll go over here and we'll start working on the salad dressing. I have a third cup of raspberry jam. Calls actually for seedless, they did not have seedless raspberry jam in in my grocery store that I use, but it, it tastes the same and as long as you don't have, uh, as long as you can have seeds, it's not going to bother you, it's going to taste the same. Uh, raspberry vinegar, vinegar um, if you don't have raspberry vinegar or can't find it in your store, you can substitute red wine vinegar. Uh, a tablespoon of poppy seed. I'm going to put that on the blender and Blend it just for about 15 seconds and then I'm going to add a cup of vegetable oil. Okay. 
It'll be a little noisy, pardon me for just a minute. Just turn your blender on stir so it doesn't splatter quite so much. then it won't separate when you have it in your refrigerator and so you see a nicer consistency. Salad, uh, you actually can use any kind of lettuce that you have. If you have garden lettuce, that will work wonderfully. I have, I've used romaine and a combination of romaine and spinach here. If, um, the recipe actually called for red leaf lettuce, which I can't find in our area, but it doesn't matter, the lettuce is the, the flavors don't vary that much, so uh, use whatever you prefer. This is a thick dressing, but it still seems to spread well on the salad. And you can either toss or you can serve it on the side. refrigerator and we'll assemble the salad. I have an avocado that I have peeled and diced. And a cup of raspberries. You can use fresh or frozen. The, the store actually has fresh so I uh, use those. And then a half cup of, of chopped pecans. If you would, if you would rather use something like a like a spicy pecan or something like that, like I've made in some earlier shows, you can do that. Um, that would just give it a little more sweetness. Down a little. And then we're going to serve croutons on the side of the salad. You don't want to put them on. Some people would prefer to not have the croutons, so uh, you can use your judgment, but I like to just serve them in a bowl on the side. So I'm gonna quick clean up, and we'll get back to the ranch, to the ranch pasta be right back. Faster than fast internet is here. Valley now has higher broadband speeds of up to one gigabit. Get the bandwidth you need for all your devices at one time. Gaming with no lag time. Video stream your favorite movies instantly in HD quality. Video chat with friends and family without interruption. Download your favorite music and photos in seconds. All on our 100% fiber optics network. Valley offers managed Wi-Fi and backup services too. Bringing together all the services you need. Valley Telecommunications Cooperative. Okay, we're going to pull the bread out. I'm going to just set it there and let it cool in the pan a little bit. I'm going to get started on the on the pasta. Bacon is about done here, so we're going to transfer it to a plate with a paper towel.
Okay, we're gonna eliminate most of the grease. We're gonna leave about a tablespoon in there. I'm going to press in two garlic cloves. If you don't have fresh garlic, go ahead and use the garlic in the jar. just needs to cook for about two minutes. It's going to uh, bring out a little more flavor in the garlic, enhance that. chicken broth, a cup of milk, mix that in together and then we're going to stir in the chicken. This is a cup and a half of cooked diced chicken breast and then I'm using the tricolor rotini pasta and that goes right in and then the liquid's going to cook the, the pasta. Okay, I have a packet of ranch seasoning mix. Stir that in. And then we're going to season with salt and pepper. Uh, it calls for kosher salt. If you have it, use kosher salt. If you don't, you can use sea salt or table salt, whatever. Uh, and once again, when you're seasoning to taste, you can always add more. Can't take it out. So uh, err on the side of caution when you're using salt. I put about a teaspoon in there and then we'll just check it later. And if you want to use fresh pepper, uh, fresh ground pepper, do that. Otherwise you can use uh, pre-ground pepper and that also is to taste. So remember if you want a copy of any of these recipes and you don't have internet, give the girls a valley a call. They'd be happy to give you a copy. And if you do have internet, go to the valley website and uh, you'll find the recipes there. Okay. I'm going to bring this to a boil. I'm going to turn up the heat. doesn't call for it actually, but I, I just think that it, it's going to help the pasta get tender faster. I'm going to quick take a break and clean up. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to make the, the brandy sauce for the cake. So we'll start out with a half cup of packed light brown sugar. To that I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch and then you blend that together. And then you pour in three-fourths cup of cold water. And then I'm going to turn that on medium heat. And we'll let it cook and start to thicken. Stir the pasta a little bit. Looks like it's cooking up. 
We'll reduce the heat once it's pretty well cooked and the pasta is tender. You reduce your heat. We'll stir in the bacon. I have two tablespoons of fresh parsley. You can use dried parsley if you don't have fresh. I'm just gonna stir that around. Just sprinkle on the cup of cheddar cheese on the top. Let's turn it on warm, and then that cheese will kind of melt in while it's sitting there. So, I'll just wait for the cake and we'll clean up. I want to remind you one last time if you'd like a copy of any of these recipes, and I hope you do because they're some good ones. Um, and if you don't have internet, give the girls of Valley a call, they'd be happy to help you with a copy. If you do have internet, you go to the Valley homepage www.valleytel.net and uh, there will be a country cooking cow on the right hand side. You click on that, you'll find all the recipes. We'll be right back. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. Okay, the, the sauce is boiling now, so I'm going to reduce the heat and then add a teaspoon and a half of butter. Okay. And then to the sauce, I'm going to add two tablespoons of, or two teaspoons of brandy again. And again, I'll just remind you that if you don't want to use brandy or you don't have any or something, you can use vanilla. Perfect. Okay. We are ready to roll, so I'll get off the salad dressing. Now you'll, you'll notice that this dressing, we didn't have to add any sugar to it, to the dressing, so it's not overly sweet. If you, if it's not sweet enough for you, you can add a little sugar or stevia or whatever you use. And this cake is, is meant to be served warm. Usually when I'm making a dessert, it seems like we're serving it when it's warm and it's not supposed to be served warm. But this one, you do want to serve it warm. And the recipe doesn't call for whipped cream. I always think whipped cream makes everything better. Give it a little shot like this. There's a little sauce over the top. And there you have it. We have our chicken ranch pasta, our raspberry pecan salad, 
our Bruno's cheese bread, bread and rhubarb cake with brandy sauce. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Country Cooking. We hope to see you next time.